Yo dudes, what's going on? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a Walking Dead video. First off, um, I want to say that uh, this video contains comic book spoilers, okay? Not television show spoilers. So for those of you who are just watching the television show, do not intend to read the comic book. This video is for you. Uh, for those of you who have already read, already read past about the fifth graphic novel of the comic book, um, this is for you as well, since you already know about what happens in this uh, graphic novel. Um, it is called uh, The Best Defense, Volume 5 of The Walking Dead. So if you've already read that, uh, you know, you can continue to watch. Uh, anyone who doesn't intend to read the comic book, you can continue to watch. Anyone else, this will spoil it for you. So hopefully you have the self-restraint to click uh, stop right now. Or possibly for you, this may be like a car crash and you just you just have to keep watching. because You just have to know! It always happens to me before things, you know, I always end up getting things spoiled for myself. If, if something gets leaked, I just can't help myself. It's like a car crash. I just have to, I can't stop it. So anyway, uh, hopefully you're not like that, not like me. If you intend to read the comic book, haven't really gotten past graphic novel 5, I'm going to spoil some major shit for you. So please uh, check off if you have the self-restraint. Anyway, um, before we get into the video, I want to also say that um, I apologize to everyone for doing different videos. I mean, I know I've been doing a lot of MMA videos this week. Uh, there's just been a lot of stuff going on in uh, the UFC and mixed martial arts. Um, I do also, I want to mention too, that uh, even though I do a ton of Walking Dead videos, uh, Walking Dead videos aren't all I do. You know, I started before doing Walking Dead. I was doing UFC and mixed martial arts. Uh, I was doing figure videos. I was doing comic book videos. I was doing you know, any type of videos I can think of. Now I've added on Game of Thrones. I'm doing, still doing everything else I did before. And I'm still looking to probably add on some more different kinds of videos. So if you just subscribe for The Walking Dead, that's cool. You don't have to watch the other ones, but I just want to let you guys know, I do have to make other videos. The Walking Dead by itself is not enough to tide me over for my video making appetite, I suppose you could say. Anyway, that being said, let's get into the video. So this video I'm calling, Will Rick Lose His Blank? Will Rick Lose His Hand? Uh, for those of you who have not uh, read the comic book and were like the car crash type people, um, this is uh, a famous splash page from, that, uh, from Graphic Novel 5, where you see the governor there and uh, one of his lackeys hold Rick down and cut his hand right the F off completely right the hell off and then Michonne loses her mind and jumps on the governor tries to I think she bites his ear off or something yeah check the next panel biting his ear off yada yada you know all this stuff and uh, Rick let's see passes out yes he passes out let's show that again just for uh, just for effect so BAM man this was one of the most surprising moments I have to say and all The Walking Dead, this was just like crazy. Because you never see that kind of stuff happen to the protagonist. You never see the protagonist just... And it's his right hand too, just boom, right off, man. Crazy. The governor is just a badass mofo. So anyway, um, the topic of this video is should that happen in the television show? Should they do it? Uh, Andrew Lincoln actually has it written into his contract that if they choose to actually uh, remove his hand... Uh, for the show, I'm pretty sure. Now, he may have been joking when he said this, but he did say that. I'm not kidding you. In an interview, he said it's in his contract that, that he could get his hand removed for the sake of the show. Um, his right hand. <laughs> uh, you know, that's not the way to go for sure. You're not going to remove a dude's hand for a television show. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. Um, anyway, but could they do CG for the rest of the show? So could they... Could they do CG all the time and wrap it and then do something with CG to, uh, you know, all the time in every scene that Rick is in? Um, you know, me personally, my stance on this topic or this issue is I think it was a mistake to do it in the comic book. I think Robert Kirkman writing that in made a big mistake by doing that in the comic book. And I don't think he should do it in the television series because it does a lot of things to the character. Losing your predominant hand, your right hand, at least we assume it's his predominant hand. I'm pretty sure it is, although I haven't looked into that. Uh, it probably is. Uh, or is it not? I'm not sure. I think it's his predominant hand. Uh, losing that is like, after that, you're going to be handicapped. You know, it's going to be really tough for, for you to defend yourself, for you to use a gun, for you to, uh, you know, like, defend yourself against zombies or shoot or anything. Like, it's just such a big deal, you know, to lose, to lose your right hand. So, um... I don't think they're going to do it in the TV show at all. I really don't think they will. I think what they're going to do is they're going to give us a, a flash. So they're going to, 
probably sometime in season three, maybe the end of season three, early season four, probably early season four. Um, they're going to have the governor and Rick meet. Maybe it'll be season three since they cast, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I have to look it up. Uh, David something, I forget. Uh, English guy. Um, I did a video on it before. Don't remind me. Um, so, yeah. So, will they have him cut his hand off in season three? I, I don't think so. I think what they're going to do is they're going to put him down and, you know, uh, uh, Philip, the governor, is going to grab a butcher knife and make it look like he's going to cut it off. And then right when he gets to, like, you know, to the point where it looks like he's going to finish the job, he's going to be like, hmm, he's going to stop himself. He'll be like, ah, oh, no, this isn't right. And then just, like, beat his ass or something or, or do something else. Maybe cut off a toe or something or a finger, maybe a finger. Um, but, yeah, I don't think he's going to cut off the whole hand because I just think that, you know, Rick being our hero – you're going to want to have that right hand, you know? You don't want to be a lefty, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to want to have that there to defend yourself and to do all those types of things. So I don't think it's a good direction to go for the TV show, even though the shock factor is like, whoa, holy shit, you know, same with character deaths. I, I still don't think it's a, it's a good direction to go. I think they should do what I mentioned before, make it look like they're going to do it, and then not do it. So when it comes to the topic, should Rick lose his hand in the television series? Trev says, no, I don't think he should, and I don't think he will. Because think about it, it would just be so much more trouble for them, for the rest of the series, to have to CG his freaking hand. You know what I mean? Like, like what would they do? Like, would they put a wrap around it and then CG it smaller or something? Or, like, I don't even know, man. But it, I just don't think it's right for the for the show. Uh, you know, there's some things in the show you just, you just can't do the way you want to because of the fact that, you know, in a comic book, you can just draw it in. So you can do whatever you want, literally. But in a TV show, there's all these other considerations that go into it. And I think that, um, you know, even just story-wise, you know, in the comic book, I still think it was a mistake for him to do that because it maims the character. It makes him feel kind of helpless. You know, it makes him rely too much on Andrea and the rest of the guys to shoot and to, to help defend him, Michonne to help defend him. I just personally think it was a big mistake, and I think the TV show is going to correct it. Um, just while I'm on that uh, tangent there, uh, other things too, like for example, uh, the fact that we've never had winter time in the con or in the TV show yet, because they always film in the summertime. So it's like, how are they going to film winter? I just, I just don't know. Maybe they'll like do like one or two episodes and have winter just like fly by. You know, have them stay inside the prison and have winter time go by and have that. That's probably what they'll do, I think, um, to get it to and just CG the 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 snow everywhere and have them stay inside for most of that time and then just have it like you know a time skip. In, in one episode and then continue because they can't film during the winter time you just they just can't do it so what are they going to do it's it, again it's another one of those considerations when you have a television show it's not a comic book you got to do different things if you cut off rick's hand you know it's going to be tough to do that cg that shit in for the next however many seasons you're going to do uh-uh don't like it let me know what you guys think about the issue should rick lose his hand in the walking dead television series i don't think so peace guys